Yeah, there is one formula you have to use to find the electric field. And I think uh, after you've done that, then it's, uh, yeah, yeah. And so let me plug in the numbers here as well. So, um, because this is also a question where the, it is more conceptual than uh, one where you need to do a lot of math and calculation or a lot of you know, math at the level of what you saw earlier in the session. So you have um, two plates with the um, charge on them, plus Q and minus Q. There's an electric field between them. And here it's nice to know the formula for electric field. So um, I just happen to have this formula memorized that um, between two conducting parallel plates, if they have the same, um, if they have charge density sigma, plus a sigma and minus a sigma on them, then the magnitude of electric field between them is uh, sigma over epsilon naught, or in terms of Coulomb constant, four pi ke sigma, or in this case, since we are given Q and the, Oh, wait, wait, that is the sigma. We are given charge density directly. So this is my charge density, so times charge density. So, uh, so this gives you the electric field, and I'm gonna be using this expression when I'm plugging numbers into from alpha. And knowing that electric field, now what the questioner is asking is um, electric potential at different places. And having this clear picture of what the electric field looks like is useful. So in between the two plates, and this is what I mean by this is a conceptual question, masquerading as a, a quantitative one. In between the two plates, two large plates, the electric field is basically uniform. So it is this value of electric field between them. Outside the plate, uh, electric field is zero. And this is covered in the lecture. You use a superposition principle. Basically, you are looking at the, the electric field due to individual plates going outward from the positive charge, going towards the negative charge. And it's only in the region between the two that these two contributions add. Outside, they cancel, and they happen to cancel exactly for infinite plate. So, so with that information, let me label some of the points that the question is giving. It's giving me um, choose the coordinates so that negatively charge the plate. Oh, yeah, all right, I'm gonna have to. So this is gonna be G equals zero, and you'll just have to flip your picture around so that this is positive G. This is gonna be G equal to plus three millimeter. So when it says T equals minus three millimeter, I'm looking at a point here. And oh, uh, and we set the voltage of the, the negatively charged plate to be equal to zero. So for the very first part here, the simple answer here is zero volt. Because as I look at this picture, I realize I can just uh, define a path here from the, my zero volted uh, plate to that point. And along that entire path, my electric field is zero. So I can make this journey without any change in potential. That's why it's zero. Plus one millimeter, which is here, um, it takes a little more work. Now you have to have an actual delta X. You have a delta X equal to one millimeter. So you have to apply the definition of electric potential, which is that, and I can use the easy version here because here the electric field is constantly uniform. So I can say change in voltage is minus the electric field, that product with the change, the, the displacement, instead of doing the integral stuff. So um, here I know my E dot DX will be negative because electric field points to right this placement is to the left. So E dot dx will be negative, multiply that with the minus, I'm gonna get a positive answer. So the answer here should be the magnitude of the electric field, or pi ke uh, sigma times the displacement, one millimeter. 
let me plug in the numbers for that. So, um, so 35 microcoulomb per meter squared is what I need to remember. Let me just write that down first before anything else. 35 microcoulombs divided by meter squared. That's my surface charge density times 4 pi times coulomb constant. That gives me the electric field times 1 millimeter. That was the delta x. And that you know, from up and knows about units. It gives me volt as one of the units. So uh, 3950 volt. Uh, just keeping three significant figure. But you can put in more if you want to. So that's one. And um, here I can do this. Uh, let me do the same calculation because basically nothing in the setup here changes. Um, it, it's the same electric field. The only thing that changes is the displacement equals the three millimeters. So what it's going to be is it's three times that. But let me just plug in the number here so that I don't have to do that multiplication in my head. Uh, it's the end of the day, I'm a little tired. <laughs> 11,900. 11,900. You can, by the way, enter even like this. And Wolfram Alpha will handle it. Uh, potential IT equals uh, four millimeter. And this is where you once again recognize that you can build a path that looks like this from a point on this plate where you already know the voltage out uh, to a G equals four millimeter. And electric field is zero throughout that entire path, meaning you will have no change in voltage, which means the voltage here is the same voltage at a nine, uh, the three millimeter that you calculated before. The voltage doesn't change. And uh, I hope you can imagine drawing a plot of V as a function of G, and you can see how that changes as a function of G, and how that corresponds to where, where you have plateau, it's uh, where electric field is zero, and all that. So, um, so with that, uh, let me, uh, well, let me submit these answers and I'll finish part. Do I want to finish part B? You know, I think I can trust you to the part B. Did I not do this right? Or is it really tripping over that? I find it a little bit. Oh, this question might have, let me just put in eight, six. There might be a tolerance issue I need to fix because uh, all my questions are supposed to have a 1% tolerance, but the my open method default tolerance is 0.1%. So I probably need to uh, fix the tolerance here so that it has a, a default tolerance of 1%, not 0.1. <laughs> uh, I'll fix that off, the cam off camera. Um, Part B, I think you know how to do that. It's, uh, you know, electron, it undergoes change in potential energy. Assume that potential energy goes into kinetic energy. You've done this exact uh, question elsewhere. So I'll just leave that for you to do and end the question here.